Today I'm going to be explaining some confusing information about Synergy and Synergy Bro, but first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and one of the most annoying things that comes to mind is incomplete tutorials. I'm going to solve something for you on Synergy and Synergy Pro, so all of you out there that are confused will finally figure out why you're incapable of connecting the client to the server version of Synergy, which by the way is the same software, it's just an option that you tick off. Synergy, by the way, for those who don't already know this, is an amazing program that allows you to dedicate one computer's, nicknamed the servers, keyboard and mouse, and allow those peripherals to be the same peripherals you use throughout every single computer, regardless of whether it is Linux, Mac, or Windows. So this is good for everybody out there that has multiple computers with multiple screens and just wants to use one keyboard and mouse. This does not negate the usefulness of a keyboard and mouse for each computer. You still need it for usernames and passwords to log into the computers. But once you are done that, you can use one keyboard and one mouse, and that is it. The difference between Synergy and Synergy Pro is SSL and tech support for the pro version as well as anything else that they have listed on their website. And the Synergy normal version just doesn't have encryption between each other computers. Now Synergy and Synergy Pro exist in both clients and server mode. You're gonna pick a computer that is gonna be your server. Just make sure you tick that off. And there's gonna be a bolded IP address, which will be a local IP address within your local area network. And that information you will need for all of your client's computers. On each of the client's computers, you will copy that server IP in to the box that I'll be pointing in on this screen. As you can actually see, I'm gonna link it up on the screen. And of course, just make sure you take note of the screen name. Now, unfortunately, I don't know who coded this. Synergy doesn't really make it all that simple for anybody. So keep in mind that on the client's versions, that screen name on the server is an alias. Now, once we're done all of that, taking down all the information and copying the correct server IP to each of the specific computers that we wanna link up to the server, keep in mind it won't be able to connect because as far as it's concerned, you didn't even tell which computers are gonna to connect to it. This is something that is a good idea and also confusing for a lot of people and it's the missing link in most tutorials. So. On the server, make sure the server option is ticked off, click configure interactively, drag a new screen in position related to the center display, so wherever the screens actually are in relation to each other, and then double click the icon. Give the client's computer screen name, so we'll call this a nickname, and then under aliases, enter the screen names of the other computers for each of the different positions. So. Just make sure you copy one alias for each of the computers and then click OK. And then you repeat this for the number of computers you have. Entering the screen names of the clients as an alias now finally allows Synergy to actually connect the mouse and keyboard to the other screens and computers. That is the missing link. That is what is not being told by so many people out there forgetting to explain that one little important detail which you all have seen on the screen at the same time. I hope that clears it all up for you. That is how you get Synergy and Synergy Pro to work properly between the client's computers and the server computers. The screen names of each of the clients are the alias that you use in the interactive configurator. That's it. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think benefit from this, and there are a lot of people that might benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or everything else at tqaweekly.com. And if you want to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.